Hey retro gamers, do you remember the Capcom vs SNK2 video I made few days ago? Well guess what? Capcom just announced the Capcom Fighting Collection 2, an upcoming fighting game compilation developed and published by Capcom. It is the third entry in Capcom's Fighting Collection lineup and a direct sequel to the original Capcom Fighting Collection made in 2022. All your favorite characters will be here, Morrigan, Nakaruru, Akuma, all the EX versions of every character and a lot more. This collection will have various Capcom fighting games such as CVS2, Power Stone and more. All the games were released between 1998 and 2004. It is set to be released for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 and Windows in 2025. Are you ready for a nostalgia trip? Let's talk about Power Stone. Power Stone, a fighting game gem from Capcom, first hit the scene on Sega Naomi hardware. It was 1999 and arcades were buzzing with excitement. This game wasn't just any fighter, it was a 3D brawler that let you use the environment to your advantage. Then came the Dreamcast port. Power Stone became a household name, captivating players with its unique gameplay and vibrant characters. Fast forward to 2006, Capcom brings us the Power Stone collection on PSP. Nostalgia in your pocket, folks. And it didn't stop there. Power Stone inspired manga and anime adaptations, expanding its universe beyond the console. This game wasn't just a hit, it was a cultural phenomenon. From arcades to PSP, Power Stone's journey is a testament to its timeless appeal. It's time to relive the Power Stone legacy. Now let's talk about Power Stone 2. Power Stone 2 is a multiplayer fighting game that built on the innovative gameplay introduced by its predecessor, Power Stone. Power Stone 2 allows up to four players to choose from multiple characters and utilize items such as tables, chairs, and rocks in battle. Power Stone 2 originated as an arcade game like many others on the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast served as a testing ground for successful arcade games. Power Stone 2 included some differences from the original, including new character voices, the removal of the existing combo system, and a new horizontal status bar. The game was ported to the PlayStation Portable as part of the Power Stone collection in 2006. Now, let's talk about Capcom vs SNK Pro. If you never played either of the original Dreamcast games, then you're in for a real treat, as Capcom vs SNK Pro is jam-packed with characters from both video game universes. Borrowing personalities from the popular King of Fighters 98 and Street Fighter franchises, there are 34 selections in all, which for the most part have been directly ripped from Street Fighter Alpha 3, each with their own moves, specials and techniques. And though the majority of the fighters do end up playing in a similar fashion, the sheer variety of choices is really enticing. Let's face it, Capcom and SNK both have been slaving away with the fighting genre for eons, and if there are any two companies out there who know their stuff, it's those two. From Fatal Fury and Art of Fighting to Street Fighter and Darkstalkers, the legendary masters of the fist rarely miss the mark. And while both companies have had better efforts in the past, CBS Pro still rates extremely high on the playability factor. As you'd expect from a modern Capcom collection, you'll find artwork, a music player, and a training mode. Just imagine playing this on the PlayStation 5. All games will have graphics, filters, and other quality of life improvements. Most importantly of all, though, all of the titles will be updated with online play and rollback netcode. Okay, guys, it's time to talk about Street Fighter Alpha 3, Upper. Street Fighter Alpha 3, Upper is an updated version that includes all the characters from the console versions of Street Fighter Alpha 3, but also adds three more fighters to the roster, Yun, Maki, and Eagle from CVS 2, and they make the jump to the Alpha series. Eagle is definitely one of the main characters in this game. Eagle's fighting style in Street Fighter Alpha 3, Upper and the hardcover version of Street Fighter, World Warrior Encyclopedia, is stated to be Bojutsu, a type of Japanese martial art involving the use of a single staff. Using two sticks, however, his fighting style bears more resemblance to Eskrima, a Filipino martial art involving a variety of weapons, especially with sticks like Eagle's, and open-handed techniques. Each of Eagle's special attacks and super combos are named after a British city or area. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper, named Street Fighter 03 Upper in Japan, has new stages, a total of seven new and returning characters and a new and exclusive soundtrack for the game. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper discards the manual and auto modes from the previous Alpha games by offering the player three different playing styles known as isms. The standard playing style, A-ism or Z-ism in Japan, 
is based on the previous Alpha games in which the player has a three-level super combo gauge with access to several super combo moves. ES Ism is a simple style based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, in which the player has a single level super combo gauge and access to a single but powerful super combo move. The third style, V-ism or variable style, a unique style that allows the player to perform custom combos similar to the ones in Street Fighter Alpha 2. In V-ism, players cannot air block nor use alpha counters. Alpha 3 also introduces a guard power gauge which depletes each time the player blocks. Every time the gauge is completely depleted, the player suffers a guard crush in which the gauge itself decreases in size, thus causing the player to gradually lose ability to block attacks as the guard gauge keeps decreasing, which leaves him her temporarily vulnerable for an attack. Additionally, each of the three fighting styles profoundly affects the speed, strength and damage of a player in different ways. Exism provides the highest overall strength of the three styles, dealing the most damage per blow of any kind but it's negated by having the slowest speed and the worst defense, that is, takes the most damage per hit. Vism has the highest speed and defense, but attacks deliver the least damage. And Aism ostensibly features the middle ground on all three factors, medium strength, speed and defense. Next time we will talk about Plasma Sword, Project Justice, and, um, unique Capcom fighting evolution. Hmm. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. So. What are your thoughts about the Capcom Fighting Collection 2? Is there a particular game that you are eager to play? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching once again.